So, The Shape of Water. Uh, what did I think of it? <sighs> Wasn't good. And it's a shame because I wanted to. I wanted to like it. I wanted to... Uh, I really did want to like it. I saw the trailer. I was interested. It's a good director and writer. Uh, good cast. Um, yeah, Michael Shannon's a great actor. I love him and pretty much everything he's in. And I just... Okay. Let me just <laughs> get to what didn't work about it. Um, well, first off, it's just a weird story. And so it's hard to get invested in something that's so weird. Uh, he, Yale Dermotoro said that he was trying to make uh, his own version of Beauty and the Beast, which I can see, but it didn't work on a couple of levels. So they tried to make a romance between the fish guy and the mute girl. And it's basically, the message of it is, we're all different in our own way, so we all still deserve to be loved. We are still people, despite our differences, which is true. But this movie is not a good way of showing that or saying that, and here's why. They go out of their way to point out that this fish man is more animal than human. Yes, he has the ability to communicate to a certain capacity, but it's never more than that of an animal anyway. He learns a couple of basic sign language motions and that's it. He learns like together, he learns together, he learns egg, and he learns a couple other things like that. It's nothing complicated, nothing that a monkey couldn't do, you know? Um, anything with hands couldn't learn. Um, he, like, he doesn't have any other form of communication other than that, other than shrieking. He's not, like, talking in a strange dialect. He's shrieking. It's not an actual way of talking. It, it's just very animalistic. It's not foreign person. It's just animalistic. And, um, he eats a cat. Like, <laughs> It, uh, okay, not only does he eat a cat, but then the reaction that the movie gives us is, oh, we shouldn't judge him. He's an animal. He doesn't know better. So if you're going to establish that he is more animal than he is human, okay, but then you can't then involve a romance with him and a human being. That's just awkward. It doesn't feel right. It's not okay. Um, next up, uh, we have uh, a side character who is completely pointless other than the fact that he is gay. That's the whole point of him being in the movie. I have nothing against gay characters or gay people in real life. I really don't have anything against that. Um, what I have a problem with is when their sole purpose is to push that agenda. And his sole purpose in this movie is to be different. That's what all of these characters are, is to be different. You've got a mute girl, you've got a gay guy in the 50s, and you've got a black woman in the 50s. Their whole purpose is to be outcasts. Okay, that's been established. So, that's fine. But what do these characters bring to the story? The the black woman, she brings a lot to the story. She's important. She helps. What does this gay guy do, though? Nothing other than be gay. Every time we go to his... Every time we go to his story arc, all he is doing is something on his own. He never helps in any way in the actual story. Everything that you go to him is just him being judged, him being uh, frustrated, him going to dead ends, he never actually helps in any way, and it's kind of just confusing why he's there. And it's just like, okay, if you're going to show a certain point of view, then show it right. I want you to give a good argument for this cause. I do. I'm behind you. I agree with you, yet I'm still annoyed that this character is here. That proves, therefore, that you're doing it in a bad way, because I want to agree with you, and I'm disagreeing with you. See what I'm saying? <laughs> so that's just frustrating and um here's the other thing this movie is very anti-government anti-religion in subtle ways well not completely subtle the anti-government's very obvious but they do it once again in a way that's kind of just stupid because i get it if you want to say government is selfish government is tyrannical at times okay i agree with you i'm all for that i'm all for that but the way that they show it is Everybody in the government is an idiot or pure evil. That's not the case. So can we come to a better way of showing that? And then once again, with the anti-religion thing, the bad guy is the one, the only one who's religious in the entire movie. Why do you have to do that? That's so cliche. That's so overdone. That's so stupid. It's just the bad guy quoting the Bible. Like, really? How many times has that been done? <sighs> 
ultimately I could get over all of that if the movie itself was good, but here's the problem. It didn't know what it wanted to be tonally. The way it was presented in the trailers was very serious. It took itself very serious. It was dark. It was gritty looking. And this movie half the time was that way. The other half the time, it was kind of goofy. It was kind of sloppy. And I didn't understand the shift back and forth. It didn't work for me. Because if I was supposed to take it seriously, then the goofy moments just didn't make any sense. And I couldn't take it seriously anymore. And if I was supposed to take it as lighthearted and goofy, then the overly serious and dark tones of it didn't mesh at all with that either. So either way, the movie didn't work together. So as a whole, I just, I couldn't enjoy the movie. I could have overlooked all of the sloppiness if it had actually been a good movie, but it just, it wasn't. So it just left me frustrated and made me wonder, why is a woman having sex with a fish? Why? Made me think of Wheel of Fortune when the guy says fish love, <laughs> honestly. That's all I could think of the whole time was Wheel of Fortune. And if that's more distracting to me than your actual movie, then you're not making a good movie. Anyway, I've been talking too long about this. My point is, this is not a good movie. I don't know why it's getting such great reviews. I really don't. Um, other than the fact that Hollywood loves to push agendas, and this was a very Hollywood agenda-y movie. That's probably why it's getting good reviews. I don't know. But, um, yeah, this one is definitely worth skipping and will not be on my top 10 movies of 2017 list. Sorry, guys. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you liked it. Not the movie, my review. Anyway, thanks, guys. Bye.